But we begin with 3 News investigator Rachel Polanski on the problems and technical issues plaguing that drive through testing system today. Good evening, Rachel. Good evening. So a lot has changed here over the last couple of hours. So first, I just want to say for anyone watching who lives nearby, if you came here and you were turned away, Right now, there are no lines. Again, you can see behind me, no lines at all. Again, this testing facility closes at, this drive-through testing rather, closes at seven o'clock. So that really, really will only apply to people who live nearby. Now, as far as what happened earlier today, a spokesperson for UH and Cleveland Clinic tell me it's not that they ran out of tests, it's just that the lines were so long that they thought they had hit capacity. As we pulled up to UH Landerbrook around noon, we saw this, officers turning people away. It's crazy. Like this mother and her children. Are you worried? Yeah, I'm worried. I have four kids back here coughing and runny nose and crying. She was told that she would not be tested today because the drive through had already hit capacity. And these two men were told the same thing. Um, we waited in line for a long while. And then once you know what, they, they cut the line off and sent everybody to the home. And this was after James and Dominique were already turned away from the drive through testing in downtown Cleveland. So I find that very unfortunate because, you know, you're saying get tested now and everything, but you're sending people home. It's supposed to be from 11 a.m. through 7 p.m. They know the hospitals are doing their best, but they say there's a lot of miscommunication. What would you say to the health systems? Well, to do better with the communication and the structure on um, controlling um, the flow of people that need help. And capacity was not the only hiccup today. This young woman got to Landerbrook at 9.30 a.m., waited in line for three hours, and still could not get a test. They had told me that they were not accepting Cleveland Clinic patients here because this is a UH facility and that unfortunately you, Cleveland Clinic is not sending over the orders for some reason. Um, they didn't specify whether it was a clerical error or if it was, you know, they had just topped out, but they said no more Cleveland Clinic patients can be seen. Now, UH and Cleveland Clinic have confirmed to me that, yes, there were technical issues and, yes, there were capacity issues. Now, I do want to make it clear they told me those issues have been resolved. So tomorrow, starting at 11 and it goes until 7, both drive through locations, both Cleveland Clinic and UH patients can go to either location. So, again, those hiccups are supposed to have been resolved. Reporting live tonight, I'm Rachel Polanski. Russ. All right, Rachel. Thank you.